They look good. Well, if you're amongst the thousands of fans at Wembley, you can watch the highlights from the Capital Sometime Ball on ITV1 and ITVX this Saturday at 7 pm. Why has that not been done before? Right, which Please. is fine, but it's just giving me major FOMO. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, we, and Chris Dark are here to tell us more. Well, yeah. looking very fresh faced. Thank you very much. It's, it's all a lot of makeup. It's a lot of makeup. <laughs> so yeah. you haven't been home in five days. Yeah. No. Can no. we very quickly talk about Roman shoes? Yeah. I mean, it is the elephant in the room. Room here. Right. Um, now, there is a reason why I've got... Basically, I've got, got a poorly foot. No, I haven't. <laughs> uh, to be honest, the whole kind of weekend's been a massive blur. And then I forgot my shoes as I've left the house this morning. I got you off forgot your shoes. shoes, but remembered them. Yeah. <laughs> well, these were at work. These were at work, but I ran and jumped in the car and then genuinely forgot my shoes. So, Demo, I was like, what's I was there. the etiquette on uh, socks and sandals? Not that. I don't know what <laughs> not that. Yeah, I don't so know. I apologise, but, but it's not medical. This is the best I could do. Somehow you, you style you it out. Yeah, you do. <laughs> no one don't does. give him that. No one does. I didn't even <laughs> twice when I saw you walk. I thought, okay. oh, this is what the kids are wearing. Oh, no, right. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> um, well done, by the way. I mean, what an epic show it was on Sunday. Was it? Boiling. I just kept mm. thinking of you all in there. Hot, it? it was so hot, and I made the mistake of wearing a jacket not too uh, sort of dissimilar to this. Trying to be fashionable like Roman, it's a constant battle. I've got to keep <laughs> up with this, you know. So I had this jacket on, but my gosh, we were sweaty, weren't we? Were. We were. It was a lot of sun cream applied mm. over and over, but yeah. it made it because it was just such a nice day. Mm. Yeah. Is it quite a stressful day or quite an exciting day? Like, is it pretty straightforward in terms of what you need to do? I mean, you say straightforward, you're going out in front of millions, like hundreds of thousands of people, whatever, <laughs> yeah. in the stadium, but. Is it kind of, is the running order such that you can go out and just have fun? Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, we, we, this was my eighth ball that I've done now, and, and it's, it's I, I've said it, you know, before, it's just the best gig that I've ever seen a, a radio station put on. It, it really is. Mm -hmm. It's the best, one of the best gigs I've ever been to. It's so slick, it's, you know, it, it just keeps moving. And it's like being inside the radio for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. right? Like, you know, but it is, that's what I'm saying. But every year it attracts those people because, it's Wembley Stadium. Yeah. You know, there's only it's certain points in your career where you can step out and go, hello, Wembley, to everyone. Yes, I know. You know? It's very special. And so after you've said, hello, Wembley, you want to go out and you want to celebrate. Yes. And then, John, you've got to get up at 6 a.m. and oh! back on the radio. I know, that is the hardest bit. And we were all so... Because you're buzzing, you're on adrenaline, you want to stay out all night. Yeah. But th we're all getting to that age now where we're being quite sensible of going, now let's go to bed so we wake up tomorrow, we don't miss the show. Yeah. Because that has been, we've had close calls before <laughs> where we've been very close to <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm oh. the only sensible one. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, I, I'm like, as soon true? as it's done, I'm home. I don't it think is that's true, so true. I think it? I'm a good influence. You know, with the Father's Day gifts that you had before, I was getting excited about the bird feeding. He wants to take your bird feeding. I feel like this home. is rubbing off game. on Roman yeah. a bit. <laughs> Yeah. Your little one was there, was it? Is she seven? Oh my gosh, it was. She's eight, and it was oh, her eight, first right. ever concert, and oh. probably the, one of the proudest moments of my life, being <laughs> able to be there at Wembley Stadium, which is Rose saying's boyhood dream. Yeah. You know, and, and to be able to shout out my little girl that was there. Oh, my something God. I, something I'll never be able to She forget. was, oh, her face was just yeah. so lovely. But so many kids were there and, like, with their families. Yeah. And we say, it's the, you know, we do the radio show in a box and we forget anyone's listening. And then to see 80,000 people that sort of know you and, they, yeah. you know, they feel like your friends. That's lovely. Um, it went well. It's going to be shown on television for the first time. Everyone's excited. Kylie turned up, surprised everyone. Mm. I believe there's some restraining order that's come out. Oh, no. <laughs> How has it got to you guys that I was like this? Sure. Yeah. Did you disgrace yourself in front of Carly? I mean, no one would blame you for doing this, but what? give us the background. I, I was, like, overly keen. You know, like a... a <laughs> it start, is Kylie. <laughs> it's I, been the I got, like, over... I was being trying to be professional and interviewer, and then these lot caught me, like, the second the interview was over, getting selfies, <laughs> telling her my life story, <laughs> touching her outfit, and then they were like, Sean, come on. It got <laughs> into a photo shoot, and then Sean's touching the outfit, trying to read through her hair, and it was getting embarrassing, so <laughs> yeah. I had to move it along. You had to intervene. Yeah. Um, who, other special guest there on the night was your mum. Oh, man, my oh. mum was there. That's it. I think it's been about 30 years since she's been back to Wembley. But I, I had to take her because she, I mean, she's performed at, you know, Live Aid and she performed at Wham, the final at Wembley. So uh, it was a really special moment. She'd never really seen me do, you know, hosting, mm -hmm. like, big things like that. Yeah. So it was really special and uh, I took her backstage and, and showed her around and she was, everything around the corner for my mum was like, nothing really phases her. She's very much like, yes, we had that in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> That in the yeah. Be very yeah. Proud of you. yeah. And Chris, how's it been? Because obviously, you and Scott Mills were such a huge team for so long. Yeah. Uh, 
It feels like this is seamless, though. You know, when I listen, it feels like you've been there forever. And Cheers, you, mate. You yeah. three have kind of slotted in really well together. Well, I love these guys. I've known Roman for, for many years. And um, and it's all just felt... It felt really natural how it's all come about. And, yeah, it's really different. And don't get me wrong, I love Scott a bit. He's still my best friend. Um, but these guys have really welcomed me in. And I think we're doing something really special in the mornings now on Capital. And I'm just super proud to be part of it. And uh, I love I love what we do. It's a very early heritage. start. Like, I remember <laughs> listening when Chris Tarrant was doing it back in the day when I was yeah. a kid. Yeah. And yeah. It, you know, it's just an exciting place to work. Yeah, it's totally. radio station. I, gr I grew up listening to that show. And um, yeah. to be on it now and doing what we get to do is it's, it's wicked. Well, it's lovely having you all in here. But we're very used to seeing Sean here in our studio. But <laughs> yeah. this is our showbiz car. Of course. <laughs> what I loved. <laughs> Um, was the day before your the morning of your first day, um, Roman? You put her through her paces because you were saying on the show it's live. Slash. Sometimes the time is can get slashed, and uh, so you were saying right, you've got to deliver all the information in a very short space of time. Should we have a quick listen? Oh, just to get you ready for this, we are going to be doing the segment of showbiz on this morning, but. <laughs> Really fast. Well, obviously, after the BAFTAs, everyone's loving a bit of Richard E. Grant. He's so uh, wholesome and everyone's saying protect him at all costs. Uh, Austin Butler still speaks a little bit like Elvis. Princess Kate wore Zara earrings at the BAFTAs. All five Spice Girls are set to reunite at King Charles's coronation. Alicia Dixon's hosting your And that's all and we've got time for. Thanks so much, Sean, for coming on to the show Thank today. Sean, she might not be back next week. She wasn't quick enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's eerily similar to how it actually is. <laughs> You're very, very good at that. Yeah. So, of course, we're going to put you to the test once again. Yes, You've got the so show for the in your hands. You've got 30 seconds. Your time starts now. OK, so Zendaya had a bit of an awkward experience. She was denied entry to a restaurant because of her outfit. Jennifer Lopez and Benef uh, Ben Affleck had a little kiss during the Flash uh, premiere. Jesse J's newborn's been called Ben Shelley. Jodie Comer won a Tony Award on Saturday night. Uh, Taylor Swift wiping tears from her eyes on stage in Detroit. Uh, uh, Kim Kardashian has wowed her American horror story. Ah, you've lost oh. the job. You've lost the job. You've lost the job. Didn't uh, finish it. No. You are brutal. Well. <laughs> so mean to oh, me. Don't take Take her from me. I know you want her on this server, but you can't have her. <laughs> She'll be ours. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, well done, all of you. So when is it on? When uh, is it on? When catch all on? the best bits from Capital Summertime Ball on ITV1 and ITVX on 7pm on Saturday. That's yeah. the one. Thank Thanks you. So Thank much. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Right.